It's uh, not enough just to put the HTML files in uh, the same folder as the 3GS JavaScript. Uh, let me explain. Uh, first of all, um, I made this folder with uh, FreeCAD WebGL because I'm going to make other folders with uh, Blender exports, uh, explosion view models. And all these models uh, I put into an index HTML. Like here now I have uh, frame brackets 1 and 2 in the FreeCAD WebGL slash folder. Then when you look at the FreeCAD WebGL, you have the two models in there and a folder with the JavaScript. In this case, there's only one in there and that is the 3GS Revision 50 um, library. Uh, what you have to do... It's not okay thing that you have to do is when you look at the original file it goes to the content delivery network server here on Cloudflare uh, to get 3GS and GitLab doesn't accept that because of security reasons so I just uh, copy pasted the 3GS file um, to the FreeCAD WebGL JS folder and then change the source in the frame bracket HTML change the uh, source to folder JS slash 3GS file so it knows where to find it of course and that works the other things uh, I've tweaked is when you look at the original model the edges are very jacket that's because of uh, aliasing and you can solve that by here in the webgl render you just put anti-alias as true and then you get rid of the jacket edges the model was also a bit in the background, uh, so I changed the camera position. I just divided it to two, so it's uh, the model seems closer when you um, go there. And the line thickness, if you go down here somewhere, yeah, uh, the line width from the line material. Uh, I changed it from 1 to 2 so we have a more pronounced line. And that's all. Uh, I have a little file here where the changes uh, I will send it to you as a reference. And I think that's about it.